Let's look at the OCM requirements. If you go to education.oracle.com, from there, top left here, certification. From there, indicate what you do. In this case, we're DBAs. We scroll down here and you can see all the relevant certifications. Now, it's quite a long list, and if you can't quickly see that this is what you're looking for, might I recommend learning the browser. If you hit Control F on most browsers, you have the ability to do a search through the page. And we're specifically looking for the word M-A-S-T-E-R. And as I type that, we highlight the first of the two links available, and we highlight as well the second one, which is what I'm actually interested in. Now, what's also cool about this is, if I had not already scrolled down there, you can see here in my, um, in my scroll bar, there's a couple of yellow lines indicating where we have hits for that particular word. Now this browser skill is extremely important, I believe, for the exam because in the exam you will be given the documentation, but Oracle specifically says the documentation is not searchable. What I believe this means is you don't have access to the internet and you can't use the search that's built into the website. Well, that's fine because as long as you actually have the manual files either locally on your machine or um, you, you maybe you're getting it off of a classroom server or something like that uh, you can always download them really quickly to your local machine and grep through them or just open up the appropriate pages within your browser and then do searches within that page but you need to know how to navigate the documentation so what I've just done is I've navigated to the let's say the documentation on the OCM for 11G and you can see the pricing and whatnot and that's in Canada <coughs> it's not cheap here recommended training and prep review the OCM uh, exam objectives so let's open that up in a tab and look at that later and if we scroll down a little bit update your training okay so take some training from Oracle University uh, refer to the documentation. So where do we find the documentation? Let's open up another tab and navigate to docs.oracle.com. In preparation of my environment to study for the OCM, I'm going to download all the documentation. So if I go to 11.2 and grab this zip file, this will contain a full set of the documentation that's in this product. We probably also want to do the same thing for Enterprise Manager. Okay, and then you just unzip that into a directory. And I feel that that is probably what Oracle will give us during the exam. Now, let's go back to this page here we were on. Uh, practice in a representative environment. That's what I'm building right now. You can download Oracle products from OTN. So that's in a different video. Use either Red Hat or United Linux. Both support KDE. That really doesn't matter. Because if we go down here, the exam environment clearly is laid out for us. The software is right there. So you need 11.106 for the repository database, and you need 10.205 for grid control, and you need 11.201 for database 11G, and we're going to use OEL 5.4 as our operating system. Okay. Now, what does it say here? The OCM is offered in English regardless of exam location. Okay, Oracle Certified Master Exam Information. Let's open that up in a tab. Candidate Guide. Let's open that up in a tab. Scoring. Let's open that up in a tab. You see, so basically read everything. Uh, yeah, you know what, you can read that on your own. So, notes about the exam. Exam participants work through nine skill sets that are based on the exam objectives. So what I'm going to do is start using the terminology skill set because it sounds like whoever wrote this page is probably using the same words that they used to create the exam. So let's call it skill sets. Tasks can be performed using either uh, CLI or GUI environment and tools when available. Uh-oh, when available. Um, so there's a possibility that we'll be forced to use CLI for a lot of things. Now, that shouldn't be an issue, right? I would recommend, and I'm going to, practice using both the CLI and the various GUI tools to perform all these tasks below. Now, what tasks are we talking about? You see this long list here? They're broken up into categories. 
and let me just widen this out you can clearly see if I lay this all out on one page there's one two one two three four five six seven eight nine categories which I'm going to suggest maps perfectly to these nine skill sets so let's call these skill sets and what seems to be the easiest way to study would be to just print this out on a piece of paper and put little check marks next to each of these things once you feel that you've mastered this particular task so create the database you can use DBCA or you can maybe clone the database although it doesn't say clone a database it says create the database or maybe even learn the create database statement and then once you feel that that's comfortable then we move on to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing so you get the idea okay so that's how I'm going to prepare for the OCM now if we go to one of these other pages it says hey you know in bright red here it's the industry's most advanced certification I'm not really sure where they get that but that's fine I'm sure it's kind of challenging I've never seen it nor done it um, and who knows maybe I could be talking out of my well ass the Oracle certified master credential is for Oracle certified professionals with advanced training and at least three to four years of professional enterprise level Oracle experience to become an Oracle certified master a candidate must complete two required uh, advanced DBA courses from Oracle University and pass an Oracle certified master exam okay well it's the exam primarily that we're going to uh, study for here so make sure you have all the skills okay these skills be sure be prepared to use the non searchable documentation during the exam to help you with correct syntax now that's that's kind of the key y you shouldn't be reading the docs to learn what a control file is this is not the time to do it you only have two days and uh, it looks like a lot of things that you're going to be tested on right I mean this is a pretty long list so <clears throat> make sure you know exactly where to go in the books The best way to get that practice I think is to download the zip file unzip it into a directory and cut yourself off from the internet see if you can find everything uh, necessary to aid you through these skill sets and please use it as a reference and this is not a learning time this is the time to just go there and reference some syntax maybe you don't do a create database statement every day but you can go to the reference and very quickly find it there are two places uh, in the documentation obviously you can go to reference or you can go to the admin guide but I'm gonna do that in another video review command line solutions be prepared to use them even if you know how to do things in the GUI GUI is not available for every segment of the exam bingo I knew I heard it from somewhere here it is public website okay so GUI is not available for every segment of the exam segment well what do they mean by that maybe they mean skill set okay so just be aware that you know we may have to do all these things from command line that's kinda scary huh including installing the software well that's not scary right but it's kind of a hassle creating a response file and run and install it blah 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 take the time to get hands-on practice with all the exam objectives especially on skills you do not use regularly it's not every day you create a database by typing create database you might have some scripts that you use in production or you might have uh, well probably scripts and you know normally you create the database and then you operate it for years and years and years um, so anyhow and I'm not talking using DBCA right I mean that's obviously pretty easy you must be able to translate high-level conceptual requirements into specific commands and actions that are needed to execute them this is where your years of experience and hands-on practice are especially vital to success on the exam okay so all I'm doing really right now is reading the website you scroll down here and read all these things and yeah DG MGRL right uh, you need to know OMS OEM now that's interesting uh, I don't think they mean OEM I think they mean EM uh, listener utility well what do we have there listener cuddle right um, Oracle net manager Oracle net CA etc okay so um, uh, hopefully they're not going to force us to use a GUI that would be kind of strange 
proficient with OEM or Oracle Enterprise Manager, proficient in using Oracle Net Manager, Net CA to configure networking. Okay, advanced knowledge and use of Oracle Enterprise Server technology and features, familiarity navigating through online documentation. Now that's kind of key, and know how to use a browser. <laughs> okay. Now they kind of talk about the um, actual mechanics of the exam down here. Uh, you have to wait forever for your score, uh, your score results. So I mean, you know, you you probably this will be a very annoying month for you, um, and uh, that's about it for this page. This page seems to go nowhere, and that was, by the way, the candidate guide. They need to fix that. So if I click on this, you know, goes nowhere. And then, what other sh what other links do we have here? This is the same thing. This is exactly the same page, and this is exactly the same page we've already looked at. And this is the documentation. So really, there's only two pages that are of interest. This page, which we first navigated to from the certification link here, and then the page that this link takes you to. Okay, The rest of these kind of just don't go anywhere useful. These are the two main things. So get this guy printed out, download your software, and of course, read this second page that we just went through.